Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the various concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code called reported post and try to walk you through how we can develop queries in such problems. This question has been asked in Facebook interviews over the past two years. Okay, so let's jump right in and read what the question says. We are given a table called actions with five different columns, user ID, post ID, action date, action, and extra. There is no primary key for this table, so it may have duplicate rows, okay? The action column is an enum type which can take values like view, like, reaction, comment, report, share. So basically all the Facebook, act Facebook posts actions that one can do. The extra column has optional information about the action such as the reason for the report or a type of reaction. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query that reports the number of posts reported yesterday for each report reason. Okay. And assume today is 5th of July 2019. Return the result table in any order. Okay. Let's go through this example. So here we are given a bunch of records, right? And we need to report for each of the reasons how many posts were reported yesterday. That is on 4th of July 2019. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do and let's uh, go through this and try to see. Okay. So for spam, for reported posts, right? So this was, this uh, row is reported. This is report, 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 report. So in total, we have five reports. Now, three of them are for spam. Two of them are for racism. But remember, we also need to take care of the date. So it was on 4th of July, right? So here, 4th of July, reported spam. 4th of July, reported spam. 2nd of July reported spam. So this is this won't be included. 4th of July reported racism. 4th of July reported racism. So now out of those five rows that we had initially, we are now only left with four. Okay. Now we need to count how many posts were reported, right? So for these two rows, you see the post is same, but was reported by two different users. But we know the question is asking how many posts were reported, not how many users reported a particular post, right? So if for both of these post number of posts is equal to one. Okay. This was already excluded now for racism, right? So reported for racism on 4th of July post ID two. reported for racism on 4th of July post ID five reported by the same person but two different posts right so the output would be for racism two posts were reported on 4th of july 2019 and for spam one post was reported for on 4th of july and i think this should be the output yeah so spam one and racism two okay so let's go ahead and start building this query step by step so from this table called actions, we need to only keep certain rows, right? Where action date equal to 4th of July 2019, right? So 0704. Why? Because we are only interested in, the, in this particular date. Secondly, we are only interested in reported posts. So and action is equal to report also even though it is not shown in this case but what can happen is that it can have a report action but null in extra extra column right so obviously since we need to report and uh, report the reason why this uh, but a particular post was reported obviously if you report something such as null two right so you don't you are not getting any information out of it so obviously we need to exclude those things as well so and extra is not null okay 
so now once we have included only what we require now what we can do is we can group by extra so all the reasons and then we can return them right so return extra and since in the output we need uh, we need to alias it as report reason so as report reason and what do we need to do is the count of the the posts that were reported so count distinct posts right so count how many posts so distinct distinct posts right so count distinct post id and we need to alias it as report count right so as report count okay so let's go ahead and run this and see if this passes the test cases yeah uh, so it's accepted and our output is same as expected output let me submit it so yeah uh, this runs and is accepted as well so this is how we solve this problem again don't get overwhelmed by a lot of information or if the example case has you know a 10 15 rows just go step by step build your query step by step see what is required and exclude all the irrelevant details because it will make your query go faster execute faster so yeah let me know if you guys found this video useful and i will see you guys in the next video